So my podcast, we interview entrepreneurs. And unfortunately, that's not original at all. <laughs> that's the most played out topic. So luckily, we got Victor here to talk about how to actually stand out. Welcome to the Real Estate Espresso Podcast, your morning shot of what's new in the world of real estate investing. I'm your host, Victor Manash, and we're here recording in front of a live studio audience at Podcast Movement. Yeah. On today's episode, we're talking about how to create a show that stands out. And I'm doing this for the listeners at home because, you know what, the, the Real Estate Espresso Podcast was created very deliberately. There's so much noise in the world today, and you walk around with blinders. This is you. You walk around like an, like an old draft horse with the blinders on, and you do it out of a sense of survival. You have to. There's just way too much input. It's constant. You're being bombarded. You know, imagine, look, oh, wow, a Canon camera. Is that a Rode microphone? It is. Wow. Oh, wow. Like, there's so much advertising in this room, and you tune it all out. You have to. You can't walk around saying, oh, a Toyota, wow, it's just nuts, you can't do that. So what you have to do is you need to do that to preserve your time. It is the most precious commodity. So the Real Estate Espresso podcast was designed to protect your time. It's a five minute podcast. I don't wanna compete with all these other great shows. They're great, but you know what? Who has an hour to listen to a podcast? Who has an hour to listen to a podcast every day? Nobody. I would much rather compete without competing. If, if I compete head-to-head -head with one of these shows, I have to give them a body check. I have to get them kicked out. And the fact is, most podcast, most podcast listeners today subscribe to six and listen to five, because that's all they have time for. So I don't want to I don't want to compete with one of these shows. There's no way. So I've chosen to compete on the basis of quality and time. In order to be selected, it's got to be a good show, and it's got to be short. You got to get rid of the pet peeves. How many times do you listen to a show and there's like 30 seconds of music intro? It drives me nuts. You get the co-host talking about what they had for breakfast. Who cares? The values of the show are so important. You got to produce good quality content. You've got to have quality audio. You've got to have high production values. Think radio. Think radio production values. Let's talk about quality content. It's got to be crisp. Seth Godin, when he puts out a blog, sometimes his blog is only three sentences. Make it, just make one point. Make it crisp, make it clean, and just deliver. Make sure that your audio is clean. No ums and ahs, no stutters. Get, have it professionally edited. Make sure that your music is not overpowering your content. When there's an intro, my intro is that short. I start talking at the two second mark every show. So two seconds, welcome to the Real Estate Espresso podcast. I wanna value your time and I live that each and every day. You will gotta have great guests. Make sure that if you're getting guests on your show, some of them are big brands. It's gonna be a draw. You're gonna bring some of their listener audience along with you. It's very, very important to get good guests. And you know what, they're human beings, you just walk up to them and ask them and they'll say yes. If you're gonna get a loyal following, you've got to focus on interacting with your audience. Don't focus on subscribers or the vanity metrics, focus on engagement with the folks that are your true following. I love the new platforms. I think they're the future, and you're not competing because you're not competing with as many players because there aren't as many players on the new platforms. This is the future, and you would definitely want to get on those platforms. And I focus on a format that, like I said, respects people's time. Five minutes every single weekday. Weekends are interview format, slightly longer, 10 to 15 minutes, but make sure that you respect people's time. The feedback, I had a guy drive from Pittsburgh to Philly last night to meet with me. I'd never met him before. He's a listener of the show, and he wanted to meet me. He came to Philly 
because he listens to the show. How awesome is that? So keys to a great show. You know what? Producing a great show is hard. It's hard work. Producing an hour-long show is a ton of editing. Don't do it. Don't do it. Produce a good quality five-minute show. It's, it's, it's way easier, and you're not competing with the hour-long shows. So folks, less is more. Deliver a great quality, short show, and you're not going to be competing, and you're going to stand out from the rest of the noise. Thanks very much.